All right, everyone. Today we are talking about how to get accurate colors with inside Redshift and Cinema 4D while working linear. Now, linear here is the key. Now, whether you know it or not, when you're working Cinema 4D and Redshift, you're working linear by default. And this is what you want pretty much all the time. Where it becomes an issue is when you're dealing with client colors, when you actually have to match specific colors um, to their specific values, right? So in this case, um, we have uh, our Hulu brand guide and we are doing a project for Hulu and we need our logo to be this, this iconic green that Hulu has, right? Um, and so what we have here is we actually have the RGB value, so it's pretty simple, it shouldn't be that hard. Now we're just gonna be working with emission, so we have just pure color and there's no other variables happening here. So right now we have white, but we know that this color is 28, 231, and 131. So let's go ahead and put that in, 28, 231, and 131. All right, so we put that in and right away it feels like more muted and kind of pale than I would expect, right? It doesn't feel like this green. It almost kind of has like a bluish tint. Now, why is that happening? That's happening because we're working in linear and it's actually, there's actually a transform that's happening here to compensate for that linear workspace with our colors and our values without getting too technical. So all we care about right now is just how to fix it, right? Like forget the technical stuff, let's just fix it. So let's do that, let's fix it, all right? So the reason why this is happening right now is because of this button right here, linear numeric values, okay? So this is where the transform is essentially happening. Uh, in the color value. So let's go ahead and turn this off. And when we turn this off, you'll see that we have values of 93, 244, and 190, which is way different um, than what we have over here, which is what we want. But if we turn back on, it, it, it thinks that it's doing the right thing, and it actually is doing the right thing for what it wants to do. But what we want to do is to look like this, plain and simple, just give me the damn color and let's move on. All right, so what we need to do, turn off the button, Turn off linear numeric values. And this button exists under, under all colors, right? It exists under all colors. Turn off this button, and then let's go ahead and take our eyedropper and reselect this Hulu green. And just like that, now we are actually getting accurate colors. 28, 31, 131, the hex code matches. We're exactly 1CE783, <laughs> um, so that's, that's good, that's great. And we don't have to worry about that anymore. We know it matches, we know we can confidently tell our client um, that it is right. Bonus tip, if you want this to be off by default, you can go to Edit, Preferences, select Units, and turn off Linear Numeric Values. Now, you're gonna need to restart Cinema 4D, but when you do, all of these color selectors now are actually gonna be off. This will just be off by default. Um, so that is it. I hope that this was helpful. I hope this uh, this is something that I felt was so easy, but also so uh, hidden inside Cinema 4D and Redshift that I felt like it deserved a video for something that is so common too. Um, so I wanted to show it and share this tip with you, and I hope it's helped, and I will see you on the next one.